Good morning, kids. It's so great to see you this week. Wait, what am I listening to? Super D, is that you? Super D, get in here. Hi, Miss Julie. Oh, hello. Hi, kids. I, I didn't know you played organ. Would you expect anything less? Uh, I guess, I guess not. Of course not. So, did you know that the first time an organ was played at a ballpark was about 80 years ago at Wrigley Field? Really? Yeah. The Cubs? The Cubs. Wrigley mm, Field. I don't, <laughs> I don't know about them. I, I know. I shouldn't have mentioned the Cubs. Go Brewers. Go Brewers. Go Brewers. Anyway, I don't think you should let Pastor Bill catch you playing that organ. You know, an organ is a really expensive Intricate instrument. Well, I actually have some questions about the organ. Oh, okay. Um, I know that there's organs in churches, like our church. And sure. I was wondering why. You know, is it in the Bible? Did Jesus' followers play the organ? Okay. You know, what's really interesting about the organ is that the organ was around maybe 200 years before Jesus was even born, and it was hundreds of years after the first churches were created, that organ music started to be played in, in churches. You know what, I have an idea for today. Hmm. And maybe, maybe I can do it. Can we look up O for organ? Can I snap, can I? Not this time. <laughs> okay, Super D, can you snap us in? Yes, I can. Let's see. The pipe organ is one of the oldest instruments that is still played, and the largest instrument played by a single person. Mm -hmm. Pipe organs make sounds by moving air through pipes of different sizes. The largest pipe organs can have tens of thousands of individual pipes. Sometimes the pipes can fill an entire room. Yeah, you know, our organ was in the balcony of our church. Do you know how many pipes it had? A hundred. More. Two hundred. More. Three hundred one. <laughs> 895 pipes. It filled up most of the balcony. Wow. What else does your book say? Well, it says, at first organs were used in ceremonies, banquets, and circuses. It wasn't until the year 900 that they started to be used in churches. I wonder why churches started using them. Well, they're beautiful instruments, and without getting too technical, they kind of make a lot of people, when they're singing, sound better. You know, when I'm singing in a church, I can be a little self-conscious, and it feels so great to have that big organ sound behind me. Yeah. Is well, more? Yeah, it says, okay. organs have been used in churches for hundreds of years for many good reasons. Organ music can have a more serious, somber tone that helps remind us of the sacred nature of God. Yeah. An organ can also be fairly loud. It doesn't require additional amplification. It can really fill the sanctuary with sound. It really can. And you know, there's tradition. People associate churches and worship services with organs. I really like the sound. I love it too. Yeah. Well, I have an idea. If we don't let Pastor Bill know, he can do it quickly. Can you take us out with something a little bit more appropriate, like maybe one of Martin Luther's hymns? I think I could do that. All right. Great seeing you, Super Great D. Great seeing you as well. Let's Bye, get kids. to it. Bye, kids.